I am Claire McCatton and I am the Business Development Director here at On Device Research. I um, work with clients um, to find out how they might utilise uh, mobile as part of their research um, and also help clients to migrate projects that they might be doing potentially face-to-face -face in growth markets over to the mobile platform. In developed markets, um, the benefits of mobile over online are really that it can be in the moment. Um, we can reach people when they're out and about and get them to feedback um, on what they're doing, uh, using the mobile phone as a diary, um, recording people's um, thoughts on adverts when they see them or what they're eating at the time rather than relying on recollection. Um, it also um, gives very quick responses. If we send people an SMS, most people respond within 30 minutes, um, and so we get immediate feedback on that. Um, in developing markets, um, such as Africa, um, many places in Asia, online uh, penetration on desktops or, or, or laptops or tablets is actually um, quite low. And uh, until now, face-to-face -face has been the best way to get samples. Uh, but face-to-face -face takes quite a long time, is quite expensive, um, and so mobile is fast becoming um, a viable digital alternative. Um, it's quicker, it's cheaper, it may not be quite as representative, but in a lot of instances it does get to the people that, that, that you want to reach. Yet. About 85% of the world's population have a mobile phone. Uh, um, mobile internet um, penetration is pretty much... Um, uh, 90 plus percent in uh, developed markets and it's growing in, in growth markets. At the moment we can get representative samples of 16 to 54 year olds by age, gender and region in developed markets such as the UK, the US and Europe um, and in growth markets we can get representative samples by age, gender and region of 16 um, to 35 year olds. So we can get pretty representative samples of younger people, but older people simply aren't using mobile media um, as much as young people. We have done about 10 million surveys in 57 countries, so we've learned quite a lot in that time. Um, and what we've uh, come up with um, are a set of guidelines which essentially say that 15 questions is the optimum number on um, feature phones which have very small screens and slower data loading times. Well, you can um, probably stretch that to about 20, particularly when you're working with, with smartphones. There are certain other limitations to the length of the survey um, or what the questions compose of. Grid questions don't work on mobile. Um, you may have seen them on smartphone surveys, but I've never seen one that renders well or gets good data. So also, you don't want huge long lists of answer um, options. So we recommend um, that 10 should be the maximum there.